Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. My cousin Scott up into John Deere 3300. Day January, Saturday, 26th. Uh, about 12 noon. We're headed to the field, to the mud hole. Cousin Scott's going to drive today. We're going to do what we can to get the last of the beans off this farm. Well, I stopped for coffee, and I just got here. Let's see how this... Looks like Cousin started in right there and changed his mind. And that's, that's about what I've been fighting all year. But, uh, looks like he made a good decision and decided, nope, that ain't gonna work. And he backed out of it got a little higher up in the field and uh, moving along through this now but that's the way it is here in North Carolina this year and that's what I've fought all year long there's a lot of beans right here in this field but I got a feeling this end right here is gonna get left now, from where he's up up here, you can see he's staying up on top of the ground. And uh, go hit that ball spot. That's a spot that just nothing grows on. It ain't gonna grow nothing. It ain't never grown nothing. You just pick the head up and leave the trash on the ground. Cousin's good. He's good. He's been farming a whole lot longer than I have because he's been out of it since, I think, the year 1999. Uh, yeah, the way that looks right there, he made the right decision because I can see how the ground kicked back on him when he was rolling back out of here. And that is soupy, sloppy wet right there. But we'll get what we can get out of here and be glad we got it. I told Cousin, I said, you are captain of the combine today. I will not second guess any of your decisions out here in this uh, wet field. So uh, you go out there and, and do what your years of experience have taught you to do and I'm going to stand over here on the sideline and make video and be ready with the John Deere 4020 and the chain. I like what he chose to do. He went up and got around the wet spot on the low end and is now taking the chance of working his head and he's still moving forward and he ain't gone down yet either so that's positive that looks like he'll get another good cut across there that field full of beans that field worked out great uh, fertilizer that's wonderful stuff I like it Now I was talking about the band's got skills. One side of the combine went down and he stopped it. And he backed it out of it. That's skills. I'm impressed. Yeah, it's looking more and more like we're gonna end up leaving that. It just not going to be able to get the combine across it. So now we'll walk up here and I'll show you what I was just talking about. I saw the combine go to leaning heavy. Now this side right here, see that, that soup. I mean, I can see where the combine was fighting a little bit to get out of here. Come up right there and then back down. And see this little spot right here is nothing compared to what happened over there which means I'm guessing that he may have to, yeah, the ground's right squishy that I'm walking on right now. We get over here, you know, will he get back into this? Will he be able to get far enough into this? Well, stay tuned, folks, we'll find out.
cousin, I think you've got what we're going to be able to get. I'm impressed with what you got. Uh, but if it's that wet down there, and you saw where you were making your choice to make your turnarounds, yeah. I think that whole end, since it has pretty much sat underwater for the last two months, just ain't going to do. I think we just leave it be. Oh goody, it didn't go click, 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 click. Huh? I said, oh goody, it didn't go click, 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 click when it shut down. All right. You got a uh, half a hump. It's better than leaving it in the field. Yeah. I, I didn't know if you wanted to try it. Only thing I'd be concerned with the belts. You could probably drive in and get it, but you're going to have to back out. It's still, you, you know, you are captain of the combine today, Captain. It's your, right. your choice. Are you an admiral? No, I'm an innocent bystander. Huh? <laughs> I'm an innocent bystander. Oh, I thought you were an admiral. <laughs> no. The only thing I'm concerned about is the belts. You can smell them when they go through shit like that. Excuse my language if you've got anything on them. Well, we'll we, you know, I think we could slip a word or two in there. You know, it's not yeah. going to be the, be the worst but thing I mean, to ever have. But uh, I agree with you. When you get in that mud, see, I in the other fields where I was slipping and spinning, I can smell it too. And them belts four hundred dollars. So let's see, we'll burn up a four hundred dollar belt to go get uh, twenty dollars worth of beans. I'm going back to the truck and do the math on that. <laughs> yeah, let's leave. Them. Oh yes, closing up that uh, space between the uh, con cave and the raspbar cylinder did wonders. Now, I can show you something I'm seeing right now. Because of the uh, time these beans have been in this field, I'm just pick out about three of them. That's what's called a split bean. They don't like those at the mill. They'll dock you for them. And that's because the, the bean's fragile. Now you could slow the cylinder down a little bit, but uh, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna let it go.